Well, FG fam, it's the final game of season number two of the NMU Wildcats Dynasty. We are taking on the four and six Western Michigan Broncos, an in-state rival, and we are on the road. It is their whiteout game here at Waldo Stadium in Western Michigan. They're four and six. We are four and seven. We average just a little bit more points per game than them, but we give up more points per game than they do as well. They have three three-star prospects coming into the building here, and we're looking to ruin that big day for those three prospects. Hopefully, they might maybe take a little notice of our program over here at Northern Michigan. They have a couple of players hurt, a halfback and a corner. We'll see if it affects them today. We have elected to defer on the road here against Western Michigan, and we are underway. Parker's going to take this thing across the 20-yard line, across the 25 before he's finally hit after a 22-yard return. So Western Michigan starts with their star quarterback, Kargman. Kargman's going to make a throw to the right-hand side. That one's nearly intercepted, but it's actually caught by Robertson for a first down. Here's Kargman again. He's going to go back to Roberson, and that is going to go inside the 30. Inside the 20, he breaks free after a stiff arm, and that's a quick score for Western Michigan. Broncos on top, a 55-yard play with 6.31 to go in the first. We're just 30 seconds in. Big touchdown. We take a look at the studio update. It is the annual Michigan-Ohio State game, and at the shoe, Michigan with the big win. They are 11-0 on the season, looking for possibly a natty. Big win for them. And we will go with our first offensive possession. It's Beatson up the middle for a gain of nine. Now Alejandro Clank going to give it to Beatson again. Why not? On second and one, he will pick up the first down with a gain of 12. So Beatson starting off hot. They're going to keep going with him. He's the hot hand. He will run again for 12 yards. He is just absolutely running over this Western Michigan defense right now. Here's Alejandro Clink. He's looking to throw. He's going to go to Rigoberto Ramirez Jr. for his first catch of the day. 10-yard reception for the big tight end. Now Clink on a third and six. A little bit of pressure here. He's going to throw this one, and that one not going to get to his intended target downfield, which I believe was Kendall Bedgood on the play. So a fourth and six. NMU's going to go for it here. Gutsy call and a nice little curl route for Christoph Hornsby, who makes the grab. 17-yard reception, his first one of the game. Here in the red zone, Clink looking for the throw. Floats one over to Rigoberto Ramirez for the 12-yard touchdown reception. And Clink, not bad. Three of five for 39 yards and a touchdown on the drive to tie the ball game. Seven all, here's Bartol with the catch from Kargman for 17 yards. They're trying to use their tight ends a little bit as well. Nick Kargman starting off a really, really hot. The star quarterback here, Singleton running up the middle and Singleton, nice little change of direction for Christian Singleton to pick up 20 yards. So a second and 12 here a little bit later on. Kargman looking to throw, and he can't get it over Kaz Cray, who's going to make a big interception and take it back to the 35-yard line. First turnover of the game goes in favor of the Wildcats. There's a quick throw to Kendall Bedgood on a second and five. He'll pick up 11. So Kendall Bedgood with his first catch of the game gets a first down. Here's Clank looking to throw. He's got Jace Fye. Look at this. The spread of the ball right now is excellent. Jace Fye picking up 18 yards. So seven all still. 148 to go in this first quarter. Baza beats in. Look at the strong, tough running from Baza beats in for seven yards. Seven runs, 52 yards early in this game. Third and three under heavy pressure, but he finds Rigo who's going to get it to the five-yard line. 19-yard reception already, three for 41 for him. Plank looking to throw. He gets it to Kendall Bedgood. That's a guy we don't see a lot of touchdowns from, but he ends up getting one there. Clink already with two passing touchdowns in the first quarter. Offense on fire. 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. Look at Singleton getting the room outside. Lutz can't bring him down. TNJ all the way from the defensive end position to bring him down. You know you're giving up a bunch of yards if that happens. Here they give to Singleton again. Singleton again gets the edge, and Kaz Cray will bring him down after a gain of nine. That'll end the first quarter. Northern Michigan with a seven-point lead. But Western Michigan looks like they're going to put together a good drive. We'll be back. 
And we are back for the second quarter. There goes Singleton, who's had a great game thus far. Another nine-yard carry. He's got four for 58. So the running backs really leading the way right now. Here's Kargman looking to throw. He's going to get this one over to Roberson, who's had a good game already. That's his third catch of the game. Five-yard reception. Now second and six. Singleton again looking for room. He's got none. The convoy is there to stop him, but there's a flag on the play. And it is going to be a face mask against the Northern Michigan Wildcats. The infraction is called on Paul Rivero, and that face mask will be half the distance to the goal to the nine-yard line. Western Michigan ready to score. First and goal at Singleton up the middle. Untouched until he crossed the plane. A nine-yard touchdown run for Singleton. Singleton versus Boz is looking like a good matchup here today. These running backs are ready to play. Second and six. Here's Clank and his... Real prowess of spreading the ball. And this one going to Baza beats it, who actually really does a nice job after the catch on that screen for 21. Here's Clank on a third and two. He finds Rigo wide open. Nobody on Rigo, and he's all the way down to the one. Maybe trying to put a little early move in there. Didn't let him get the touchdown, but here out of the backfield is Calvin Mentor. Who's put it? I'm telling you, he's a scat guy. You can put him anywhere you need him, and you put him in the backfield to make another big play. Clink has his third touchdown of the ball game. Really hot offensively are the Wildcats, but they're Singleton running it up the middle, and Western Michigan running their slow and steady offense. Second and one here, and what is going on? Hannibal Marbles tackling the center. That is no doubt going to be an encroachment. And that's an easy five yards for Western Michigan. So they will move ahead. Second and seven later on. It's Kargman looking for someone to throw. Bartol, nice play. Not quite a first down, though. Still a chance for NMU to make the stop. But it's third and inches. Now with 154 to go in the half. Kargman looking to throw. And under heavy pressure from TNJ, he could not complete the pass. So after the punt, here's NMU on a third and seven to Brewski inside the opposing 40-yard line. That's Brewski's first catch of the game. I think everybody's caught a pass just about in this one. Here's Clink looking to throw again. Mentor will drop the football on third and four. Drops have been a problem this season for NMU. They're going to go for it again. They've done this already, and here's a fourth down completion to Jace Five for 12 yards. The aggressive play calling here by the coach, FG. He's getting the job done. Here's Baza Beatson up the middle, and that's a really nice run, but do we have any time for anything else? So eventually, just one second on the clock, and MU timeout. They will take the chip shot field goal and extend their lead to 10 going into the half. They have played aggressive. They have played loose. And they have a 10-point lead going into the locker room. It is 24-14. Northern over Western. We'll be back. Western Michigan really needs to do a better job in front of their home crowd here, but NMU gets the ball. And Kendall Bedgood with a nice three-yard reception. Just very reliable hands from Kendall Bedgood. There's Baza Beatson up the middle and an eight-yard run for Baza. Gets him a first down. Now Clink looking to give it to Baza again. Baza up the middle for an 11-yard rush yet again. 17 runs for 110. We're barely in the second half. Here's a th little quick throw. Mentor had nobody around him. And he'll pick up the first down, getting to the sticks quite easily with that speed of his. Second and six. Here's Clink again looking. And he was trying to hit the curl route to bed good. But instead, he's going to throw it to 21 in white, and that is a turnover. The interception coming from Giacomo Irachi, and that is huge for the Western Michigan Broncos. That's another really nice run from Christian Singleton, making people miss. 15 yards for him. Now a keeper for Kargman. He loses the football. It's picked up by Miles Burrow. The second turnover of the game for the Western Michigan offense. However, another look at this one shows that Kargman hit the ground before the ball popped out. So upon further review, Western Michigan holds on to it. A third and 13. Kargman looking to throw. He finds Roberson, and he breaks a tackle. Roberson inside the 10. He has played really well today. Damari Roberson for 31. 
Third and goal. Little play fake to Singleton. He picks up a nice block on TNJ, and that's going to get the touchdown to the kick returner, Jalee Parkey. There you go, Jalee Parker with a big play and a touchdown for Western Michigan. They're only down a field goal now. 2.05 to go in the third. Jace Fye takes a big hit, but he does pick up five on first down and give Baza Beatson a chance, but he's pulled down by the back of his jersey. So a third and one. There's Bedgood. Again, reliable hands on third down, and he actually makes a play after the catch on this one. 28 yards for Kendall Bedgood. He's got four for 47. Here's a second and four, and it's Baza Beatson's turn. Picking up a first down on the counter play with a gain of nine. Coming down to the end of the quarter, and we are at there. 24-21, Northern over Western, holding on to a slim lead as we head into the fourth quarter. Can they close this out and get another win in a row? We'll see. 24-21, NMU looking to close the season out the right way, winning a couple of games. We'll see if they can. 24-21, there's the throw up the middle, and Wallace with the interception. Another pick thrown by Clink, and he was having such a great game. Three touchdowns in a row, then two interceptions. There's a sack. Miles Burrow makes a play on Nick Kargman, bringing him down for a loss of nine. It's third and 19. Western Michigan backed up. Here's Kargman looking to throw TNJ this time. And that little duo between Burrow and TNJ working it again. So after the safety punt, here's Baza Beatson on first and 10 with a big 17-yard carry. 159 yards for Baza. Here's Clank looking to throw. He gets Kendall Bedgood, 12-yard reception. For the sure-handed receiver, he's over 50 yards receiving. Here's Baza Beatson again, another counter play. Western Michigan has not been ready for those. 168 yards for him. Third and one, Clink looking to throw. He finds Clark. That's like our fifth receiver on the team, Noah Clark with a nine-yard reception. He also plays a little backup tight end from time to time. Here's Clank looking to throw. End zone, Ramirez couldn't bring it in. It hit his hands, but there were too many footsteps. And on fourth down, a chip shot field goal is hit through the uprights. That gives Western Michigan a fighting chance. Down eight points. They need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. This is a big throw for Kargman, and it is complete on Rivero. Roberson just making amazing plays today. Now a third and three. Now that Western Michigan's so close, there's Oliver. Haven't called his name today, Marion Oliver, for four yards. Kargman at 188, two touchdowns and a pick. What will Kargman do here? Second and two. Will he give it to Singleton? No, he won't. He's going to throw for it. Kargman throwing left side. That one could have been picked by Sav Rambo, but it's caught for a touchdown by Barrett Smith. The third touchdown of the day for Kargman. He is dueling with Alejandro Klink, and they're going to go for two. Here's Kargman throwing easy slant route to Jalee Parker. And that is going to work to tie the ball game. Just 30 seconds left in the ball game. Klink was hurt at the end, but here is Josh Allen getting it to Brewski, and he will outrun the defense for the 81-yard touchdown. Josh Allen comes in after Clink has to go out and throws an 81-yard touchdown. So now it's up to Western Michigan. That is an exciting play. Western Michigan and run from Singleton for nine yards. I don't know. Singleton should be out of this game by now. Just nine seconds. That one's nearly picked off by Miles Burrow. Probably should have been. And now a third and one with eight seconds. And this is where Kargman's going to elect to just launch one. And that is knocked to the ground. Game over. NMU comes into Western Michigan and gets a big dub in Western Michigan's whiteout game with three prospects visiting. Clink is the player of the game. You let me know if you agree with that in the comments section. I don't know. Josh Allen threw one pass for 81 yards and a touchdown with a 1,110 rating. Baza Beatson ran for 170 yards 
albeit not getting any touchdowns. Brewski caught two catches for 100 and a score. Rigo Berto with 99 and a touchdown. Bed good with so many big first downs. I don't know. You tell me who the player of the game is today. Let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Van Guten, Burrow, and TNJ continuing to put pressure on quarterbacks. Kaz Cray picking up an interception. A couple of nice deflections out there. And now we've got to take a look at these Week 14 scores. The top 25. Troy getting a win against Arkansas State. You don't think to say that. Ball State goes down. Miami, Ohio picking themselves back up after taking a tough loss previously. In the last episode, Florida over Florida State, Arkansas over LSU. Auburn beats Bama in overtime by a field goal. Maryland over Michigan State, Clemson over South Carolina, North Carolina over Duke. A lot of these rivalry games here in the RMAC Conference, of course, we get a win. Central Michigan over Ohio. We already said Miami, Ohio wins. Eastern Michigan loses an out-of-conference game. That's kind of weird. Another little bit of info, Nate Grant is going to Georgia. He has decided not to be a Wildcat, and he was a big prospect we were looking to bring in. ECU gets a loss in the top 25 against SMU in week number 15. That's going to hurt their bid for a nice bowl game. We'll see how that goes. ECU is a pretty good team all year. Uh, conference championship week, so Toledo over Miami, Ohio. They are your MAC conference champions this year. UAB is a conference championship. Bama, Fresno State, Clemson, USC, and Michigan by two points holding on in the Big Ten title game, and that's going to give them the bid to the national championships. All you Michigan fans, congratulations. Looking through the list on bowl season, Miami, Ohio will be taking on UNLV. Akron gets a bowl game against Air Force. Uh, Western Kentucky against UAB. We're just looking at some of these interesting ones. Toledo, of course, getting a bowl game. Uh, looks like they're going to be playing Southern Miss or something like that. Cincinnati and Utah. We got some big games here. Georgia Pitt. That's going to be a big one. Florida Northwestern, Arkansas, Notre Dame, Texas A&M, Syracuse. Maryland, Oklahoma, USC, ECU, Ohio State, Texas, Miami and Bama, and Michigan Clemson for your natty. We do not make a bowl game at five and seven, but it's a very nice season number two. Thank you all for joining us. Kaz Cray Gaming, Rigoberto Ramirez, Raider Bear Comics, Christian Horn, Derek Vance, TNJ, and B Dub Productions. Y'all are legends for being channel members. T Clink 24, you are an absolute goat for being a franchise quarterback. If you'd like to be a channel member, go ahead and hit that join button. I'll see you next time. Build you, build some